Hey everybody, so I have another empties video for you guys. This bin filled up so quickly. It wasn't that long ago that I did a different empties. There's some bigger products in there, but there's quite a lot going in going on in here, so I wanted to empty it. So I thought I would film an empties video for you guys. If you can't tell, I have a bit of a cold. My voice is kind of, sorry, that's my phone. My voice is kind of coming and going, so I apologize for that. All right, starting with this MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. It was just a little sample. And you know what? The first few times I tried it, I was like, it's an okay mascara. Nothing fabulous. I think I actually did a, a first impressions on this. And I wasn't wowed, but it got so much better. And I really fell in love with it by the end. So I'm sad that it was such a small little guy, but it did wonderful things for my lashes. It didn't get clumpy and it lengthened. It was really good. I would consider repurchasing it, although I'm pretty sure it's not a cheap mascara. Alright, this is the Clump Crusher by Lash Blast, the CoverGirl one. I've purchased a few of these. It's really good for separating clumped lashes, and I especially like it for the lower lash line because it's just very subtle and doesn't kind of get all over your face. I've had it for far too long. I need to pick up a new one of that, but yes, I'm going to repurchase. Okay. This is the Batiste Big and Bouncy XXL Volume Dry Shampoo. I've gone through many, many, many of these. I love this dry shampoo. It definitely gives volume. I have it in my hair today. My hair is quite dirty, but it kind of brought my hair back to life. And um, I don't know, I like it for all sorts of reasons. However, I haven't repurchased this one because I'm moving on to a new favorite, and that's the Chlorine. I think that's how you say it, one. And I'm sure I'll have it in my favorites video, but that one even beats this one, but this one's really great. I would I would check it out. This one is drugstore. Alright, this next one is the Nioxin Scalp Therapy Conditioner number four, noticeably thinning, chemically treated hair. I bought this before I got pregnant with Cassidy, a ways before I got pregnant with Cassidy. Um, it's to help with hair loss and hair regrowth and things like that because I have really crappy hair, um, so I wanted to try out this brand. I think I had the shampoo too. And then when I got pregnant, I decided to discontinue using it because I wasn't exactly sure how great the chemicals were in this. Um, but I just decided to finish it up because like I've said before, I'm going through all the stuff in my cabinets. I'm trying to finish up or throw out things that I don't want just to, I don't know, clear out. I hate holding on to products. So I finished it up. It's um, it's a good conditioner. I mean, it's it's pretty hydrating and it's you're, the thing about that is you're supposed to put it up to your scalp but it gets a bit tingly to like promote the hair growth which is great but I don't like having conditioner so high up in my hair because I feel like it makes my hair oily faster so I like the shampoo but the conditioner not my favorite I would not repurchase okay this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian facial scrub pore purifying pineapple enzyme it's a facial scrub I had it in my shower I actually had another one because this one came broken in the mail. I got it from Vitacost and they just shipped me a new one, so that's awesome. I love Elbow Botanica. It's some of my favorite skincare products. Um, this one, you know, it smelled really good and it cleaned well, but I like more grit. So if you're looking for a really gritty facial scrub, I wouldn't recommend this one because it was a more of a subtle grit, but grip, grit. But uh, if you like subtle grit, then this is great. It's like an all natural brand, so I liked it. All right, this next one. It's kind of interesting. I have ha I used to do this for a long time and have been doing it for a long time and then I just, I think I forgot about where my coconut oil was so I hadn't been doing it in a while. But this is the Trader Joe's Org Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. And I use this for lots of things like on my face and makeup remover and whatnot but I was using it as a hair mask for a long time and never really had any issues. But I was like, I need to finish this guy up. So I've used it twice in the past I don't know, a couple weeks. I don't, I don't use it very often, but I did use it twice. And both times, even though I made sure to stay on the ends of my hair and not let it travel up, and I rinse it out really, really thoroughly afterwards, it stayed in my hair forever. And it looked like I had greasy hair, even after, I want to say, two washes. Like, I don't wash my hair every day, but I had to. And like two days later, it still looked like my hair was way down and super greasy. So I don't know what the deal is with this. I guess I can't, my hair can't handle it anymore. It also contributed to the crazy neck breakout, breakoutages that I have going on. So sadly, this has not been working well for me. It's a really hydrating hair mask if you want to try it out that way. But for whatever reason, my fine hair could not handle it. All right, this I got in an Ipsy. This is the Be Fine Food Skincare Cucumber facial mask and I used the whole thing up pardon me sniffing <laughs> and I liked it it was okay it's one of these facial masks it does dry to your face 
but I feel like it's gentle enough to use every day. I don't feel like it was incredibly detoxifying or harsh on my skin, so it was a good everyday one if you wanted to use it every day. I mix it up with some other products, so. What is this? The Pura d'Or Argan Oil Body Hair and Face Treatment. This is almost full. It's an argan oil. I don't like putting argan oil on my face, so I wouldn't use it for that. I like it in my hair, but this one is just too heavy. Similar to the coconut oil, even the smallest amount will just grease up my hair instantly. So I'm getting rid of it because there's no point in hanging on to it. This is the body wash that I've been using forever. This lasted a long time. Again from Vitacost. If you don't know what that is, I'll link it down below. I buy everything there. This is the Everyday Shea Body Wash in Vanilla Mint. And it smells so good. And it came with a pump, which was awesome. And it lathered really well. It cleaned really well. It smelled awesome. And it's um, it's all natural. It's certified fair, fair trade shea butter, handcrafted, unrefined, gluten-free, no synthetic fragrance vegan, paraben-free, etc, etc. It's a great brand and I would repurchase this. I like trying new things, but I would repurchase that. Another skincare thing that I've had for far too long that I... Did I use it up? I think there's maybe a bit left. This is the Revital, Revitalized Eye Serum from Petunia Skincare. I think I was sent a bunch of things from this line like several years ago and I really did like this eye serum, but I feel like it's past its point of being good. So I used it for a long time. It was really nice. Very hydrating, very thin in consistency. Uh, you know, I would repurchase it again. I like to try new things. That's why I hesitate, but um, it was a good one. So there's that. Oh, this one, sadly, this is the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops that I've talked about a lot. It's basically a pure pigment that you can add to moisturizer or foundation or BB cream or whatever to up the coverage level. This is fantastic. I would repurchase. The only downside is, I think I've had it for a year, which isn't too bad, but it got all, like, goopy, I don't know if you can see on the wand there. It got all thick and goopy, and like, I feel like there's still quite a bit of product down there, but it just became this, like, thick paste that's no longer able to come out with the dropper. I'm wondering, actually, if I could thin it out with something so that I could get the rest of it, because it just became too thick to use. But I liked it enough to repurchase, so that's definitely a win. This is the Jules and Esther Facial Serum. Vitamin C came in an Ipsy. Didn't like it. Um, nothing, there was nothing good about it. It wasn't bad, I just didn't like it, and I don't want to hold on to things that I don't like. Maybe I'll try and give that away. And then this is the Rapid Lash XL Eyelash and Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. I had high hope for this. I think I got this for Christmas last year. Maybe my birthday. Yeah, I think in my birthday in February. And I used it religiously for a good three months. And I did see my eyelashes start to grow, but I didn't see that growth till at least the two month mark. So it took quite a lot of effort. <laughs> if you're willing to take the effort, this wasn't too expensive. I think this was at Costco. Um, there are definitely more pricey ones out there. However, I'm trying out one now that I've been using again religiously at least once a day and I started to see results not only in my eyelashes but my eyebrows in a week. I'm not even kidding so I'm going to be sharing that one soon maybe in a favorites but so if I hadn't tried that one then I would try this again but this is I mean, it takes so long to work so yeah those are all my empties I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching bye